Everybody. This is the Code Zone, and we're going to make this video, this is actually the first video I'm, I'm making for this channel. Uh, we're going to make this video pretty quick because I have an interview at a software programming facility. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much details because I might not even get the job. So, um, I'm positive, you know, wish me luck. Uh, but this video is about getting started with Java, and many times when you get, you know, when you start programming with Java, you need a specific IDE, or um, depending on what you're trying to do, you're going to want to download and use NetBeans IDE. Uh, the latest version is NetBeans IDE 17. Um, I know I'm showing my screen right now, but it's not. There's not really anything there. Right now, I just want to show you this because this happens when your JDK and your NetBeans are not configured correctly. Uh, so when when you first start working with NetBeans, it's going to be this little icon like this. Uh, you'll you'll mainly work inside of this IDE and you'll have projects, files and services. It's just it's just like any regular IDE. I, I would suggest um, watching a video YouTube tutorial for NetBeans just to you know mess around and see how it how it works. Um, but as for this context of the video, we are just talking about a specific warning. NetBeans unable to find java.lang in class path or boot path and uh, I'm working on a Windows uh, PC. <clears throat> now mine uh, as you can see I fixed my error my my uh, IDE is no longer um, having that error where it won't read the the class paths to java.lang so let I, I would open you know I'd open one of my projects go to the source folder the default package and then we have in it array that's the file java java class file and the problem that we were having is that it could not read uh, this class and it couldn't read it from the class path either couldn't read string either and the, these are some fatal errors that that you you just can't get by uh, <laughs> you have to fix these <clears throat> so some of the some of the ways that you can fix it um, are pretty simple you could go to tools and then scroll or look down in the file folder and you'll see Java platform manager uh, as you can see, I have all these platforms, and that's because I, I have 1.8. Because you need a JDK that's under 11 to work with JavaFX. There is another way to set up JavaFX on NetBeans, so that you don't even you don't have to do anything except for start the project as a FXML file. And I, I probably will make a video on how to do that later on. Uh, just a short little tutorial. So, anyways, uh, you to fix the problem, it, you would have to just make sure that you have um, JDKs installed in your platform manager, and then you close that out. Well, you know what? Let me show you how to let me show you how to set it up. So, if you add a platform in the platform manager. This is how you add the JDKs. You would go to Java Standard Edition, go to Next, and then you'd go and find your JDK installed on your uh, on your computer, and you would just continue, and it would set up the rest of it for you. And it says I already have it in use. 
um, instead of this, you would just click finish, and it would it would create JDK 18. Um, now there's a uh, there's another way to do it, where you can just have it download from the Open JDK uh, repository, and then it will just download everything for you so that you can work from the NetBeans workspace. Now a couple of issues with this is that you might have given your NetBeans a specific JDK to start up with. So when you first download NetBeans, you will be given the option to choose the JDK that it starts up with. Um, and at the end of the day, that may be your fix. So if, if the first fix doesn't work, we will look at just uninstalling NetBeans. Don't worry, it won't, it won't uninstall your folders or any of your files. It is just uninstall NetBeans. After uninstalling NetBeans, you just install the latest version. And then during setup, you're going to change the JDK to, to whichever one you're working with. So the problem I had was I was working with an older JDK on my NetBeans, but I had installed a new JDK because I'm working with Eclipse, and NetBeans couldn't read the JDK because I had not set it as the NetBeans JDK. So I had to uninstall and reinstall so that I could reset the JDK for NetBeans. And that's, that, that's pretty much it. And that's, that's all I have to say for this video. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any other issues or problems, please uh, leave a comment. And I, I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. The, whenever you like the video, the algorithms help, it, help get the videos out to people who need to see them. So as far as these programming videos go, I'm trying to get these videos out to students and uh, people who are in college right now that are trying to learn these programming languages but are running into issues like this one. Uh, I will continue to make videos as I learn how to program um, uh, computer programs and hopefully you know it'll all work out and everybody can benefit from this. Alright, thank you guys so much for listening, and have a wonderful day.